Hey there, Treasure Hunt fans. Y'all pal Big D back here again with what? Season 2. That's right. We have marked a Season 2. I've officially been doing this for a year now. So I am on to Season 2. I'm quite surprised that I made it to Season 2. Um, yeah, but still, I've made it. I've done a bunch of episodes. Um, I think it's like 86 is my total now for the first year. So I think that's pretty good. Um, I first want to say thank you to everybody who's watched my videos and all my subscribers you guys rock. Thank you so much for watching my videos and leaving me comments and liking it and sharing it. I really appreciate that. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't even have a season two. So I really appreciate that. So as a kind of a bonus video today, um, I'm going to show you what my pickups were. So what I did was um, yesterday was my birthday. And I was going to film this, but I ended up having a couple problems. The biggest problem was was people calling in while I was trying to film and or anticipating people were calling trying to film while I was trying to film and it got really hard to like juggle things. So I figured, nah, I'm just going to show you what I got. I'll start off with my next video showing you actual footage of me hunting. So what I did was um, I live about 45, 50 miles away from a store called Rasputin. They sell used movies, they still use CDs, books, you know, all kinds of different media. And so they also take in trade-ins. So what I've been doing is the last couple of months I've been collecting a lot of movies that I have duplicates of, um, especially ones that I picked up on Steelbook now. And I'm like, I, you know, I don't really need this copy anymore because I got the Steelbook for it now. So I brought a pretty good size um, uh, amount of movies. Like one big, one of those big like bags you see at the grocery store, one, 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 the, um, <clears throat> the carry bags, out carry out bags. Uh, full of movies, uh, Blu-rays, a few DVDs, stuff like that. So I traded that all in, and I got a ton of trading credit. Way more than I anticipated I was going to get, so I went a little hog wild, and literally this stuff ended up costing me 10 bucks because the rest of it was all trade-in. So I want to show you what I picked up, and then I also want to show you, after that I'm going to show you what my wife got me for uh, my birthday. My wife got me some awesome movies for my birthday, and I want to show those, show this as well because she got me some really cool stuff, stuff that I'm extremely excited about. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be knee deep in movies for a while watching, and I'm excited. So let's start off. So <clears throat> I'll first start off with the DVDs that I picked up, and then I'll kind of migrate over into the Blu-rays. So one of the first Blu-rays Blu I picked up was True Lies, and the reason why I picked up True Lies was because, uh, well, it's not on Blu-ray. For whatever reason, I have no idea why this movie is not on Blu-ray, but I can't find my DVD copy. It's probably packed away somewhere. So, I got disc. I got a lot of discounts in this stuff. So even though it says I think it's three ninety-five, I ended up paying like a buck for it or two bucks for it. So I picked this up. And then um, some of you may know I'm a big Star Trek fan. So um, way back in the day, um, when they first started putting on DVDs, they put the entire original series out on DVD, and they put them out on these DVD sets that were two episodes per disc. And they put out, they came up to 30 total, um, it was like, I think it was like 30 total uh, DVDs overall. I think one or two of the DVDs had like a, an extra episode on it. So with I did pick up a couple of those. So one of the ones I picked up was... Um, this one here, uh, it has the episodes Operation Annihilate and Cat's Paw. So pick that up. And then I picked up um, this one, which has, uh, let's see, Who Moons for Adonis and Amok Time. By the way, Amok Time is one of my all-time favorite episodes of the original series. Um, I do have out of the 30, I think I have 12 now. So I'm slowly trying to collect those back. Oddly enough, it's really stupid. I used to have them all way back in the day, and I was an idiot. I got rid of them. When I end up getting the the, the uh, a DVD actual box set, I got rid of them because I, like, I got the box set now, and I'm really bummed about that because these actually when they're spined all together because they all have individual numbers on top, they look really cool when you put them all together. So now I'm having to go back. Fortunately, the majority of these things I found a few at Goodwills. I'm able to pick them up for a dollar, two dollars here and there, so they're not overly expensive, but still. And then the next movie I picked up was another cheap one. It's called Beneath. Um, I'm not sure it's. I think they're in a cave, and there's some creature in a cave, not really sure, but it looked really cool. I got it for almost nothing, and, um, uh, let's see here. It's an IFC film, and I, I like IFC films. They're really, a lot of their horror movies are really, really good. So, um, and IFC also does stuff with Screen Factory, so, why not? So I picked up that, and then I picked up this one, and it was part of the 3 for 10 sale, but then they crossed it out and gave it to me for like $1.50. I don't know why, but it's a three-movie pack, um, we have Goodbye World, Blood Rain, and After the Dark. Now, I have seen Blood Rain. <laughs> it's all right. But these are these two movies here are both post-apocalyptic movies, and I'm really big into those movies. I love those movies. So I'm sure these are extremely cheesy, but I like the cheese, so I'll definitely check this out. So there's that. And then the last 
And I want to say this this is kind of the second to last DVD that I picked up. Um, and I, I can't believe I found this. I was totally stoked to find this. I was, man, I couldn't believe this. It's called Electric, uh, what is it? Um, electric um, Boogaloo. I couldn't really remember. Electric Boogaloo. Basically, it's, I have seen this. It's a documentary about Canon, the, uh, the, the film studio Canon back in the 80s. They they did like Masters of the Universe. They did like, um, was it um, Over the Top, Cobra, Missing in Action. Um, uh, let's see here, a couple Von Damme movies. They did a lot of good cheese movies back in the early 80s. And this whole documentary is about the, the rise and fall of, of Canon, the, the actual film studio. It's really well done. It's a great documentary. I've never seen this anywhere. I've, I've actually hunted for it a few places, never found it anywhere. And it, was, and it wasn't even in this part, uh, section it was supposed to be in. That somebody, it looked like they picked it up and then just threw it down. I just walked by and saw it. I was like, oh yeah, I totally jumped on it. This is really good. I'm really looking forward to watching it again. Um, and the only other DVD I picked up, and this wasn't even at Rasputin, I actually stopped by Walmart to pick this up because my wife really wanted to get it, is the um, Gravity Falls, the entire series. Um, she's a big fan of this, and I know my sister-in-law is too. So I picked this up for her. So this is the other DVD that I got, and this is actually really cool. Oddly enough, put out by Shout Factory. Um, and it's got all 40 episodes, and it's got some special features and stuff, but pretty cool. Not bad. 20 bucks for the entire series, so I had to grab that. So that's it for the DVDs. Now let's get into the Blu-rays. So these first three Blu-rays were part of this sale they had going on three for 20. So, uh, I mean three for 20, three for 10. So I picked these up. So the first one I picked up was a movie called High Road. Have no idea about it, but it did star, it stars like um, Ed Helms and um, Rob Riggle and Dylan O'Brien and Lizzie Kaplan and a bunch of cool people that I really like and really enjoy. And it, it just looks stupidly funny. So, hey, and the 3 for 10 deal makes like $3.33 or something like that. So I picked it up. Um, next, I picked this up because my copy has literally gone missing. I have no idea where it is. I have all the other ones in a row. I don't know where this one is. So I picked up Ghost Protocol. I know I'm going to end up finding my copy. But, you know, my copy didn't have a digital copy. This one actually has the digital copy still in it. So at least I can still get the digital copy on it. So... There's that. And then the last one I picked up, I have no idea what this is. It's a horror movie. It's called Visible Scars. Never seen it. I have no idea. It looks really interesting, though. Um, a couple people from Shockfest uh, back in 2012 said it was really good. I have no idea, but I love cheese. It looks like cheese, so check that out. And then we get into a little bit bigger titles. So for some weird reason, I've been on a Saturday Night Fever kick lately. And most of that comes from being a kid. And remembering when the movie first came out, because yes, I was around, and I was at least, what, seven, eight years old when this movie came out. Um, so I figured I can remember being a kid and being at home when my dad bought the record. Yes, a record. And we played it over and over again, and the movie came out on HBO, because back then there was no VHS players yet, or DVD players. It was, you had to wait for HBO. And when it came in HBO, we used to watch it all the time. So I saw it on Blu-ray, and I had to pick it up. So Saturday Night Fever, the I believe this is the um, the director's cut. Um, looks pretty cool. I was pretty stoked. I do have this on DVD, but I decided, hey, why not go ahead and upgrade and get the Blu-ray? Because I'm sure it looks a lot better. Next, this is what I was really stoked about. I was really, really stoked about. And I was surprised they had it, and I just can't get over it. It's just really cool because I've been wanting to get this for a while. Uh, whoops. Um, it's the Dario Argento collection. Um, three of his, I believe these are three of his first movies he did, which is, um, The Cat O' Nine Tales, Deep Red, and Inferno. This is really cool. I was really stoked to find this thing. It usually goes for about 25, 30 bucks. I got it for, after the sale, it was like 10 bucks. Um, I'm totally stoked to get this. Three movies, all done by Dario Argento, who is a master filmmaker, especially for horror movies. This guy puts out some really cool stuff. So, I got that. Uh, next, and this is just... This is just because I do enjoy these movies, and my nephew really enjoys them too. So I figured it was appropriate time to pick it up. It was Sharknado Four. What is this? The uh, the Fourth Awakens, which is supposed to be like the Force Awakens. So, and I learned yesterday when I was looking through things, I don't even have a Sharknado Three, but I have one, two, and now four. And is there a fifth one? I believe, or is that coming out? Is this the one where Tara Reid you got to vote? And because um, remember, I think it was the end of the third one, you got to vote whether or not Tara Reid was going to die. And I remember I went on the website and voted die, but she lived. So. Um, obviously, because she's on the cover, but um, you know, it's fun. These are these are these are over the top ridiculous movies, but they're a lot of fun. It, they're just it's definitely one of those movies you can just sit down and like really just check out and just laugh. So picked it up and I got it for really cheap too. It's not part of one of those deals. 
This next one, it was still sealed, and I was really surprised, and I'm probably going to get a lot of flack from this because people are going to be really... I picked up Wing Commander. I only had this on DVD, and my DVD is not the best of quality, so uh, this was awesome. I was like, really? It's factory sealed? All right, I'll watch it. I, I liked it. I'm sorry. I don't know. It. I ugh. I liked it. I thought it was a good flick. It's a fun flick. It's another one of those no-brainers, but I thought it was fun. I, but I think my problem is, and not really my problem, I think the reason why I like this so much is I was a big fan of the video game series. I was really big. I played every one of them, including the Game Boy Advance one and stuff like that, and I beat them all. I just really liked the aspect of you being in a, in a fighter ship, you know, going around. You could destroy your ship if you wanted to. If it was, you had shield. You could do all this really cool stuff in it. So I... I saw that and I was like, you know what? Let's upgrade. Let's do this. Um, next is a steel book. Yes, a steel book. And I saw this and I was like, all right, I'm a fan of Rob Zombie. So I picked up Lords of Salem. It's a steel book. I was quite surprised. I'd never seen this anywhere before, um, other than advertised on Fry's website a long time ago. But um, this one's probably not my most favorite of all Rob Zombies. Maybe it's, it's my least probably favorite of all of them. But I do like the steel book. I think the steel book is really cool. Um, and again, it's a steel book and I just, I had to go for it. So there's Lords of Salem. And then this one, I saw this and I couldn't believe they had it on the shelf. I was so stoked to get it. The Slumber Party Massacre. I've been on the hunt for this movie for a really, really long time. The fact that they actually had this movie and it was sitting there and it was, it was used and it was, it was like, I, it says 75, but I think I need to pay like five bucks for it. So I was totally stoked. I Like I said, I've been looking for this movie for a really long time. So boom, there it is. I've totally watched the swing, by the way. All right, next is another steel book. Um, this steel book I saw at the very last minute. I got this weird thing on here. So at the very last minute, so I decided to go ahead and um, grab it because I was just like, yeah, right on. So um, it's J Django Unchained. Yeah, I was really surprised they had this thing. It's really cool. It's a three-disc combo set. So... Really cool. The back's got a cool cover to it. Um, dang, I was stoked that they had it. I couldn't believe I didn't know they had a Western section at this place, but there it was, and boom. So, Django Chain. Next, and you're all going to laugh at me at this one, but my wife is a big fan, and I just thought the Steelbook looked really cool. So, it's Divergent, um, and I got this for really cheap. But um, th these aren't bad movies. These are good movies. They're, they're the, the, what, the YA, the youth movies, they call them, or whatever. So, it's not a bad movie. I just think there's some parts to it that are kind of like, come on. But that's also me being as old as I am and not really being able to relate to probably people that are teens. So, but it's still fun. It's it's fun to watch. My wife's a big fan of these movies. So, for was it anything like five bucks? Go for it. Next, this movie. This movie is just it's it's a gem. I love this movie. I've lived ever since I first saw it, and I'm a huge fan of Ed O'Neill's. Ed O'Neill to me is a god. I mean, come on, Married with Children. Probably top five all-time favorite TV shows of all time right there. No if, ands, or but about it. I mean, Mirror of Children to me is just, it's epic. And it's a show that had it aired today would not air today. Because the stuff that's in that show now would be way too controversial today. And with everybody the way they are nowadays, it would offend everybody. So um, I've always been a big fan of his. And I'm also a big fan. Of, it's, it also stars Corbin Burns and Lou Diamond Phillips. So I picked it up. It's Disorganized Crime. This is a really fun movie. Just it's it's zany. Just you know these guys trying to be criminals and there all kinds of stuff happens. And Ed O'Neill is the cop trying to go after him and he's having all kinds of problems. It's just it's really fun. It's a great movie. Um, it's on Blu-ray. I only had this on DVD. Although is this Mill Creek? Because there's really nothing on it. Uh, it is. It's a Mill Creek release. So. Um, there's no real special features on it, but I don't care. As long as it looks better than the version that I have, I'm good to go. All right, the next one is... Let's see here. What is this? i got to pull this off here so you can see the title. Um, the next one is another um, steel book. And this one, oddly enough, is for the last um, Mission Impossible movie, uh, which was uh, Rogue Nation, which um, now, you know, of course, the new one's out, Fallout, just came out today. So... Um, this is a really cool-looking steelbook. I remember this is, I believe it was Best Buy. I didn't pick it up way back then because I wasn't really into the steelbook thing, but I um, was stoked to pick it up. So there's that. Then the next one is yet another steelbook because I was on a steelbook roll there for a while while I was hunting around there. And this one's still factory sealed, and it's a movie called Unbroken. This is a great movie. It's really well done. I believe this is the one, isn't this the one that Angelina Jolie did, I think? Um, it doesn't really say back here, does it? There's no credits on here. I'll be darned. This is a really, really good movie. It's a true story. Um, 
during World War II. Uh, just a really great movie. And it's factory seal, man. I can't believe this. So definitely grab that. And I think it ended up being like $8. So factory seal, no problem. Next one, I didn't, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find too many um, Scream Factory movies. I, I mean, I think they picked up uh, the Su Summer Party Massacre with Scream Factory. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we will find a whole lot of them because the majority of the movies they have there were mostly brand new. And Screen Factory movies, brand new, a lot of times can be really expensive. But I saw this and jumped at it right away. Excuse me. It's Tales from the Crypt and Vault of Horror. Two really good movies. Tales from the Crypt is really, really good. I, I know I've seen Vault of Horror, but I think it's been several years since I've seen it. But two movies like this, really good on a, on a two-pack like this. I had to jump on it. It's just awesome. I mean... Just completely awesome. Cool 80s horror. Just, I'm excited. So the next one, we're back to Steelbooks again because I did this Steelbook. And I got this one. I don't want to get all the Steelbooks for this series, but I just I saw this one and I was like, ah, that looks really cool. So it's the, it's the extended edition of The Hobbit, The Unexpected Journey. I just thought it looked really cool. I love the artwork on the front. You got all the main characters right there. I mean, you even got Gollum. And on the back, you got, like, this really epic scene with Gandalf standing on top, like, she shall not pass, even though that's not the right movie. But still, it kind of looks like that. It just, I saw it, and I was like, dude, I really want to get this. I don't plan on getting the rest of them, but I really like the cover art to this. Just thought it was really nice looking. It's a matte finish on here, and I just thought, bam, I got to grab this. Um, the next movie is a movie that, gosh, I haven't seen this movie. Oh, man. I, I ugh. This is, I, I can't remember the last time I saw this movie. I know I've seen it movie, but it's been years. But it's called The Red Queen Kill Seven Times. And it's an Arrow release. So, an Arrow release, I don't have a whole lot of Arrow releases in my in, in my repertoire. So, I got it for really cheap. And I figured I'm going to pick this up and watch this again. It's really cool. Arrow release, you can't go wrong. Because Arrow does a really good job. They're, they're all on the lines of like Criterion. I mean, they put out some really cool stuff. They remaster it. They I mean, look at all the stuff in the back. That's all the special features. So, I mean... They do an amazing job. So I saw this. It was cheap. Actually, it was the only used Arrow movie. No, there was two other ones, but I didn't, I'd never seen them. At least the only one I'd seen, you know, that actually I'd seen it, seen it, um, sitting there used. So I went up and grabbed this. And then the last movie that I picked up on um, my little hunt, and believe me, let me tell you about my little hunt here. My little hunt was four hours. I spent four hours in that store just wandering around. They've got so much stuff in that thing, it's it's out of control. It's just, there's just movies and music just everywhere. coming out of the rafters. So the last one I picked up, and I did pay a few extra bucks for this one. Oh, it was credits or whatever. But it was Interstellar Steelbook. I wanted this really bad. Been wanting this for a real long time. I just love it. It's very simplistic. But it, this was really cool. On the back of it, it's just this kind of serene scene of just like space. But, you know. And it was, I couldn't believe I actually found it. I was totally stoked to grab it. So, um, yeah, I told, I, I went, what, what's this? I grabbed it, threw it in my cart right away. I'm like, nope, I'm getting this. So, that is what I picked up from Rasputin. I got some great movies. Like I said, they ended up costing me 10 bucks because I had all this trading credit. I was so surprised how much trading credit they gave me for the stuff that I traded in. I never get that. I mean, I don't know whether they're, hey, it's his birthday. We'll go have me a little more or something. I don't know. But it was really awesome. Um, I was totally stoked. I, I love going to that place. Those people treat me really well. Um, sometimes their prices can be a little bit high. I get it. You know, they're they're in the buy buy and use type thing, and especially with media the way it's going now, where a lot of studios are trying to just get rid of media, and a lot of retailers are trying to push it out of their stores. I mean, if you've been into a Best Buy lately, I mean the store the the section keeps shrinking. Same thing with Target; it keeps shrinking smaller and smaller and smaller. Even in Walmart, I've noticed that they're starting to, you know, Walmart's doing a little bit different thing, actually. They still have a pretty decent sized section, at least the ones I've been in, but they're kind of removing all the Blu-ray and mostly have DVDs in there, so whatever. But um, it was an awesome time. I had a great time. Like I said, I spent four hours in there, and it went by like that. So with that being said, I do want to show you um, a couple more things. So on uh, yesterday, like I said, was my birthday, and um, my wife uh, was kind enough to... Uh, you know, pick me up a few things for my birthday off a list. Uh, I had a little, I had a list, but she also went off that list and got me this. And I don't have it here, unfortunately. I had this really cool Star Wars T-shirt with the original poster artwork. The original poster artwork I used to have hanging in my room when I was a kid. It is an awesome shirt. I am totally stoked. I'm totally wearing it tomorrow when my wife and I go out and have a good time. It's a really cool shirt. So she got me that, um, and then she got me some. She got me some movies as well. 
Um, she picked me up. I mean, you know, my wife is so awesome. She totally knows me. And she knew exactly which one to grab for me. So first she got me They Live Steelbook. I mean, come on. They Live Steelbook. I was so stoked. It's one of my all-time favorite Carpenter movies. And boom, right there. Steelbook. Um, next she got me a movie called The Nest. Which I have not seen this movie since I was a kid. It, I remember it scared the living daylights out of me back then. But um, I'm totally stoked to see this again. Um, next she got me the Scream Factory. I mean, all these are Scream Factory. She got me next Scream Factory. She got me The Thing. Yeah, I know. The first thing you say is, aren't you the big one about the, the um, uh, um, covers and stuff like that on there? The, uh, the slip cases and stuff? You're right. This one's my fault, though. I waited way too long to get this movie. Scream Factory only guarantees slip covers in the movies for the first three months of the movie's release. After that, they're like, you're on your own. This came out quite a while ago, so I knew going into this that if I ever got this movie, I was not going to get the slipcover. And I'm fine with that. It's the thing. I mean, can there be a better horror movie? This is almost a perfect horror movie. John Carpenter. I mean, come on, John Carpenter. I love all of his movies, but this is such a home run. It's unbelievable. If you've never seen The Thing, you've got to watch it. This is a great movie. Um, next, actually, this is not a scream. No, this is a shout factory. I have some again. Uh, is um, the movie uh, Forbidden World. This movie is awesome. I've been looking for this forever. It was originally titled Mutant, and I've always been looking for it Mutant, and I've always found it on DVD or VHS, but never found it never found it on Blu-ray. And then I, I was doing some research recently, and I found out that they changed the name when it went, when, when it went to uh, Blu-ray to Forbidden World. So, man, she picked this up for me. I'm totally stoked on this. This is cheese beyond cheese for the 80s. I mean, some of the effects are like, oh, boy. But this is fun. Roger Corman, I mean, these movies are great. Um, next, another screen factor she picked up for me. This is an anthology series, and I love anthology series because they're really cool, especially like a movie like Trick or Treat where you see all a bunch of little small stories and they all wrap up into one big story at the end. This one's John Carpenter's Body Bags. This is awesome. This is really good. Probably one of my favorite um, of these of these types of movies. I'm totally stoked to get this. I only have this. I only have this on VHS. I don't even have this on DVD. So I'm totally stoked to get this movie. I can't wait to watch it. Body bag. Oh, this is a great flick. Um, then she got me another steel book. That's right. And this completes my John. Till now, yes, I do realize there's a couple more John Carpenter steel books coming out in October. But this does complete my John Carpenter steel books for right now. And that would be Assault on Precinct 13. Did I say Precinct? Precinct 13. Another great movie. Not a horror one. This is not a horror one. Typically when you say John Carpenter, the first thing you think of is horror movie. But this is not. This is actually... But this is his first movie too. This is actually... And they did a remake of it with uh, Ethan Hawke about five or six years ago. But this is about a, a you know an old um, police uh, um, office there. Headquarters is about ready to be closed down. And these criminals try to take it over. And just a cool flick. Really well done. Steelbook. I'm so stoked. And then she got me, and this is just because of the fact that the fact I can't find a couple of my movies, or maybe I never got them, but she actually got me this DVD here. It's a collection of Children of the Corn. It's the first six, five movies? No. First six movies in the Children of the Corn series. I don't think I've seen all of these. I don't think I've ever seen the third one, or maybe the fifth one. But I do like these movies, and they're, you know, He Behind the Row. You know, it's, it's it just it's just good stuff i mean these are really good movies they're really well done you know i gotta say i actually watched the remake of children of the corn um not too long ago um and that wasn't too bad too they kind of stay in the same lines but um these are good movies and they're fun so that collection and then the second to last thing she got me and i was really stoked on this because i've been trying to get season two and four forever and just struggled to do it Star Trek Enterprise, the entire series on Blu-ray. This is awesome. And I know she got this on one of those lightning deals. Matter of fact, majority of the reason why I was able to get a lot of really cool flicks, she got me a little really cool flicks, is a lot of these were on sale during that whole Amazon Prime thing that was a week ago. I think it was a week ago. So a little, well, a half ago. So she picked this up for me too. I'm totally stoked this. I finally have the entire Enterprise series on Blu-ray. That is awesome. I'm totally stoked for that. Yeah. So, yeah. And the last thing she got me, and I forgot to grab this, so bear with me while I, bend, while I move over here for a second. So, the last thing she got me was uh, the coolest thing ever. And I was totally starting to get this. And I've wanted this for, oh gosh, years. Ever since they announced it and it came out. And I watched Cinema Sickness, and he's got the dang thing sitting behind him every time he does a video. And it drives me nuts, because I want one too. She got it for me. And it came and fit here. Nakatomi Plaza. That is right. It is from Die Hard. 
the big old building that, that um, Bruce Willis was using and doing all of his crazy stunts and doing all that stuff, she got it for me. It's got all... It, the coolest thing about this thing is it's got literally got all the movies in it along with a, a, like character cards and a bunch of stuff. It's got digital copies for all the movies. This thing is just awesome. I can't wait to bust it out of the box. I am going to bust it out of the box. I can't wait to bust this thing out of the box. This is going to be awesome. I'm totally stoked on this. Like I said, I've wanted this thing for just years. And it's always been really, really expensive. And it came, this was another lightning deal not too long ago. And she swooped it up for me. So I am totally stoked on that. So that is it. That is my haul. This is probably the longest video I've ever done. If it's not, it's close to it. And also, I think this is the first time, other than no, I take that back, my Black Friday haul, that was a long video. But this is the longest video I think I've done since the Black Friday video. But I wanted to show you what I got and show you what I've been looking at and what I've been hunting for lately, especially being season two now and um, being doing this for a year now. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, that's it. That's all I got for today. I'm going to cut this off. Um, once again, before I say anything else, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys all so much for watching my videos and just being a big fan of Hidden Treasures and Big D here. I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You don't realize how much it means to me that people actually watch my videos and share them and talk about them and leave comments. It really does does my heart good. It really does. I, I, my, I can't express enough gratitude to everybody for this. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome and you forever on a, on a pedestal way up here for me, man. You guys are just the best. Thank you so much for making this a reality for me and giving me a really cool outlet to be able to share the things that I like. You guys are awesome. And again, I just can't thank you enough. So that being said, Please uh, um, like this video if you like this video. If you want to see more videos from Big D, click the subscribe button and you'll get more. Uh, you'll get notified when I put up more videos. I usually put up two to three a week, most of the time one or two, but sometimes I get the third one out there a week. Um, also, if you want to see, uh, well, if you see more big, uh, click subscribe, see more big uh, deals from Big D. Um, you know, again, thank you very much. This is awesome. Um, be on the lookout for some new content coming out here real soon. Um, please leave me some comments. Of all these movies I just showed you guys, do you own any of them? Have you seen any of them? Let me know. So, so because a lot of these movies I haven't seen. So, if you've seen these, let me know your thoughts on them. Let me know what you think. Were there any? Are these good? Even if you're like, I can't believe you bought that Big D. That movie's ridiculous. Let me know. I don't care. I, it's, it's all comments are good comments. It's all good. So, um, again, thank you all. You guys take care. You rock. You're awesome. Remember, always keep hunting because you know what? Sometimes. You come up with roses. And remember, live long and prosper.